today we've got the new M3 MacBook Pro and I can't wait to see this color, so let's get straight into it. Wow. And here we have the laptop. Let's put that on the side just for one second. Look at what we get inside the box. So we get the new braided cables, which we have had on the previous MacBooks using the MagSafe 3 charger, which I am so happy they brought back rather than using the old USB-C chargers. Inside the packaging, we've got the usual instructions as well as matte black stickers. We get a 96 watt, watt power brick, uh, which is about the same size as the one that I used to have. And that's the box. And now here, that is a beautiful color. So, if we're looking at the laptop itself, you can see on the sides we've got the new MagSafe 3 port, two Thunderbolt, 3, uh, two Thunderbolt 4 ports on that side and a, and a headphone jack. On the other side we've got another Thunderbolt 4 port, an HDMI slot, and a SD card slot. Open this up. So the new MacBook Pros all having the M3 lineup are definitely fast. You know that they're gonna be just like the M2s, but slightly faster. So is this laptop for you? Well, it kind of depends on whether you have an Intel MacBook. I'm upgrading for an Intel i5 MacBook Pro, and this should definitely level up my workflow and allow me to use it for years and years to come. So if you're still on an Intel, I definitely recommend upgrading. If you're still on an M1 or an M2, I think you'll know whether you need to upgrade or not because those are still pretty fast as they are. So this is the new space black color. Um, as Marquez said in his videos, this isn't the darkest it could get. It's not actually matte black, but it's probably the closest they could get without having extra fingerprints coming on it as they did mention that in their Apple event. This is the new charging brick that came with the M3 MacBook Pro. It's a 96 watt charger compared to the 61 watt charger that came with the Intel MacBook Pros a few years ago. And then, compared to the regular USB-C cable that you get, we now have the new MagSafe charger. Now, I haven't used MagSafe since the 2015 MacBook Air, so having this is definitely gonna bring back some memories. So, if you wanna charge this, all you've gotta do is just a little. So just before I continue, these are the two Macs next to each other. Here we have the Intel MacBook Pro with i5, and we've got the M3 Max MacBook Pro. So comparing them side by side, I've got a 13 inch with a touch bar, which is something I know a lot of you might say, oh, it was the worst feature and it was unnecessary, but I used it so much in Safari on Final Cut Pro. It's just amazing. I will admit sometimes having actual function keys is a little bit nicer, but having the touch bar, I didn't find any issues with it. It's great. Don't hate me in the comments. Looking at the screen side by side, you can see that the bezels are so much thinner, and I love that. Having large bezels is something that definitely annoys me. But you do have the notch on the new MacBooks. The notches aren't that bad, because you've just got the menu bar on either side, so all you're doing is filling that space where the menu bar would be anyway, which is just space that isn't used on the laptop. While these are transferring the data across, let's go through the specs. So this laptop is a M3 Max MacBook Pro. We've got a 16-core neural engine as well as a 16-core CPU and 30-core GPU. This has 64 gigabytes of unified memory as well as one terabyte of storage for the SSD. Like I mentioned at the start, this is a 14-inch MacBook Pro and we've got a 13-inch here next to me as well as the 16-inch which you can also buy from the Apple website. And that's it, the M3 MacBook Pro. This is probably going to be my favorite laptop for years and years to come. Thanks for watching.